<sighs> talk to me nice or don't talk to me at all. <laughs> I'm not really sure who I think I am, but yeah, get with it. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Anyways, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. This video is long overdue. I hope that I'm able to put it out as soon as possible. Um, but please ignore any blemishes or listen, I, I had to do this real quick and it was so impromptu. Um, and that's because I feel like God wanted me to record this video today, right? So I had to put on, I'm sweating. I didn't see that, so I'm sweating. I had to throw on a wig and sorry i keep looking here because i'm monitoring my screen from here but anyways um so yes my testimony um so from my most recent vlog and if you follow me on instagram you know that i went to ghana recently and that was by the grace of god so um for those of you who don't know me i went to uni in, in ghana and um i graduated eventually by the special grace of god that in itself was a miracle as well helped me holy spirit in 2019 um i mean i finished in 2017 but i didn't graduate until 2019 i'll put the link to my testimony um sorry my graduation testimony somewhere um in this part of the video so you can watch it if you haven't already and um, please ignore any noise if you can hear any noise um there's a match going on but i need to do this video regardless because if i keep waiting for the perfect time i'll never do it anyways so um before i go into this video can we just share a quick word of prayer just so i'm not speaking from my flesh all right thank you jesus for today thank you for the opportunity to serve you thank you for the opportunity to know you father i commit this video to your hands lord jesus and i pray that it will be a blessing father to as many people who you know who it will reach lord jesus father god i just thank you for their lives and i thank you for their own testimonies that will come from this as well because the bible says we overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimonies lord jesus so you know i thank you god that you know this testimony will plant a seed of faith in the lives of those who watch it and in turn god they'll reap the harvest of their own testimonies lord i pray that it'll be all of you and none of me father have your way and let your will be done all this i ask in thanksgiving in jesus name i pray amen so whew, yeah now we can get into the video um so yeah i was saying i you know graduated in 2019 and um, that was a testimony on its own and i moved back to nigeria um and then i'd always known that oh, god this testimony is in layers and i don't really know how to start but i'll try my best and um, forgive me if it's in bits and pieces anyways um so this was november of 2023 this was november of 2022 rather last year like two months ago actually um my church in ghana typically has a an end of year retreat thing annual retreats right it's um almost always like the first week of december you know but i never get to go or i've never gotten to go um and i mean since i moved back to nigeria in 2019 um from ghana i've just always wanted to go back but then covid happened and it's just been one too many things right um so i just you know never got the chance to go back to ghana um uh, fast forward to november of 2022 um on a very random day you know i woke up in the morning and the holy spirit is like go and get your covid vaccination card and in my head i'm thinking hmm that's very suspicious because why am i going to get that so i was thinking okay maybe jesus has plans for me to travel in january you know for like different reasons i don't know but we'll see so i obeyed and i went to get my vaccination card and i kind of moved on with my life and i remember one morning i woke up and i just blossomed out and i said you know i need an encounter that would change the trajectory of my life right and i had even tweeted that um, and i think i think it was i think what i had tweeted was that i need i needed a sermon or a word that would change the trajectory of my life i just needed something i needed an experience from god that would change the trajectory of my trajectory of my life and um i said that and i moved on with my life anyways fast forward to later that day or the next day i think um one of my friends reached out to me and they go oh hi pamela would you like to go for the retreat and i'm like i mean in my head i'm thinking hmm that would be great but you know Accra was not in the budget for 2022 and like it's the end of the year so like with the way my pockets were set up at that time these tickets did <laughs> but there's nothing jesus cannot do but i just never like it wasn't something that i i, I was i was planning towards right so um 
yeah and then they reached out to me and they asked me and um i said yes i'd like to go and you know they were like okay sure they will buy my ticket and you know i can come if i want to i'm like wait hold on like are you sure <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, hold on, are you sure? Because, like, people don't typically do stuff like that for me. Because, like, okay, so now I'll, I'll, I'll track back a bit, right? Um, I had gotten to a point in my life where the last four years, I mean, then, as of that time, the last four years of my life have been so dry, you know, because God had taken me through my season of wilderness. Um, it's a personal experience that, like, I don't know, how to, it's not something I can explain to you because the wilderness season works differently for different people, right? But like the Lord had taken me through my season of wilderness um, from 2018 till then. So like I just experienced so much drought and you know, my pastor in Ghana, who is such a blessing to my life, like I'm so grateful that I got to come across the church that I attend in Ghana, my church family. Um, shameless plug, if you don't know, hope.accra on Instagram, go and check them out. If you live in Ghana, you'd, you'd want to attend service and there, you'll be blessed, I promise. But yeah, so, um, you know, every time he shares testimonies, they're always like, like his testimonies are out of this world. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's not, listen, it's one of them ones when it's like if you don't know the person you think that like that's the type of testimony that he always has but because i know him right i just like it just had like uh, anyways so every time he shares a testimony i literally always say god when like god i want this level of breakthrough i want to experience you on this level like i want a revelation of you on this level you know um so i started praying um towards it because i mean you would typically term that as like disfavor right but i'm a child of god so i'm highly favored and i'm blessed um but at that time that's what it seemed like so um i started praying about it i'm like god like how is it that i can partake of this type of testimony in you know my pastor's life like, i see what you're doing for him and i know that by proximity you can do the same for me right and god started speaking to me about honor you know and he made me understand like how you know honor is very important and every action is a seed whether or not you believe it you know everything in this world is a seed the words you speak the the time you invest into people like everything is a seed right so um god has told me to honor my pastor and he had told me in what way to do it right so i'm like okay yeah sure you know what i'll just do it i'll obey and i had done that the week prior to this whole um ghana trip thing right so when the offer came and that's typically and like that the testimony that i have at the moment which is that first of all the ticket was just like the beginning of the problem sorry not the problem but the beginning of the testimony right but um the entirety of december you know all the testimonies that i had from december were stuff that like like the type of testimonies that my pastor would typically share you know but at that time i didn't realize that i was reaping the harvest of the seed that i had sown in my pastor's life right they said believe it or not god is very the things of the spirit are not there's a part in the bible where it says that you have to have spiritual understanding to understand the things of the spirit i'll look at that verse and i'll share it um but yeah so that had happened i got an offer to go to to ghana for free all expense paid um so I, it just it just made sense to me i said like why the holy spirit says to get my covid vaccination card the week before so obedience obedience is very important if god says to do something just do it don't ask questions just do it because he knows the end from the beginning right um so yeah i get my covid vaccination card you know my friend is like okay they'll send me money for the ticket and they send me money for the ticket and everything and in that week all hell broke loose in my life oh jesus and i was just like god what is going on for some reason i didn't i wasn't make i didn't make any sales in that week i didn't get money from anywhere like those my accounts was empty you know and then i was just so, like i was so depressed in that week like i had a full-on mental breakdown because i left on friday so the wednesday before that i had a full-on mental breakdown like everything i had planned just came to nothing and i was so upset and i'm like what what manner of opposition like now that i'm saying it i'm making little of what had happened in that week but it was so frustrating that i just knew that it was the enemy trying to oppose me from going anyways um and then i remember like on a random day i think the day before like two days before i left i was just randomly praying i was asking god like why do you want me to be at this retreat you know why are you sending me back to ghana and god made me understand that like every time he wants to do something significant in my life he sends me back to ghana and that was the same thing that happened when i was supposed to go back to ghana you know for my graduation and that 
that's where the testimony had come from so if you watch my graduation testimony again you understand what i'm talking about anyway so i'm like okay hmm interesting i'll go right um so <laughs> the day before i leave i the day before i leave i some way somehow because i i'm not about to go i'm not about to travel without money like i'm not an irresponsible adult so i reached out to my friend like oh hi you know could you send me some some amount of money i'll give back like it once um i'm able to and they're like yeah sure so they sent me the money and everything so I'm like okay i have i have a certain amount of money i can travel with it i'm fine right um tell me why i wake up at 11 p.m and i open my bank app for some weird reason because i was trying to pack my bag so i opened up my bank app i wasn't getting any debit notifications or anything but i just opened up um, opened up my bank app and i saw that um, the money in my account was reduced like it was just going it was just, <laughs> like it was just going you know so i call my bank and i'm like that was going on why are you guys debiting me for nothing you know and then they're like oh that is transactions from months ago yada 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 i'm like no you can't say that because the so-called transactions that you're talking about i already got debited for them at the time so like why then are you like of all days why is it the day before i leave for Accra? like this thing could have happened before before i could get off the call all the money in my account was gone so i'm just like okay jesus we're back to square one um but i i took a leap of faith because i knew that like i could i I know opposition when I see opposition. So I'm like, this retreat has to retreat. <laughs> this retreat has to retreat. Come on now. Anyway, so um the next day comes, I guess the airport. Um, I mean it was pretty smooth, even though I had like a nine hour labor in Kodiba, which I included in my vlog. So I posted the first part of the vlog. If you haven't watched that, please go ahead and watch it. But yeah, that had happened. Um and then I eventually go to Accra and um my friend's car broke down listen it was long it was long but i got to accra and i was at the retreat i saw all my favorite people i was so happy i was so blessed like my heart was so filled with joy you know and then the first day of the retreat comes and it made sense i still like now that i'm talking about it i'm still having chills <sighs> the first day of the retreat comes and in that moment i realized why god needed me to be there and I remember my friend who had shared the testimony at at the retreat, right? My friend who bought my ticket, they shared the testimony at the retreat and they were like, oh, God had woken them up from their sleep and said, Pamela needs to be at the retreat, so you have to buy her ticket. And it really goes to show that if God, like what that did for me was that it made me understand that if God wants to do something in my life, he will inconvenience people for my sake. Like if God wants to do something in your life, he will inconvenience. If God needs to raise a stone, to do something for you he will do that you know and during that retreat god had made me understand that i had stepped into a realm of possibilities that's one of the things that god had told me and he said that i had stepped into a realm of possibilities and that really did so much for me you know um and like god confirmed so many things that he told me um and there's so many things i want to share but i'm not really permitted to because out of wisdom the time's not right yet but i will share the few that i can share and then in due time when everything unfolds i will go into details you know about everything um that led up to that but then another thing that god had told me during that retreat was that the same way he led me back to ghana because in 2018 when god led me back to ghana you know he had told me that that was the beginning of my wilderness season which i think i mentioned a few minutes ago he had told me that that was the beginning of my wilderness season and at the time i didn't really understand what that would look like but i still held on to it right and um I journeyed through that wilderness season. It was difficult, can't lie. It's been difficult. Um, but I'm, I'm grateful that one thing God did with me was that he sustained me through it all. And he held me by the hand and he walked me through that season. But at that retreat, God had said to me, like, it was so audible, I could even doubt. And God said, the same way I led you back to Ghana um, in 2018 for the beginning of your wilderness season, is the same way I have led you back here for the end of your wilderness season. I remember how I cried so much because, like... <sighs> only God knows. Hey, Father. Only listen. If you've not. <sighs> Anyways, so that had happened, and I was so grateful to God. Like, like the way I cried. Like, listen. I don't think anyone cried as much as me at that retreat because I really needed it. Like that encounter changed my perspective. Like. It's like when you're exposed to certain possibilities, you see God differently. You know, the testimonies that people shared, you know, the things that, like when you, when God speaks, ah, I cannot for the life of me explain what that retreat was for me, y'all. It was an experience and it indeed changed the, tra the, the trajectory <laughs> of my life, you know, and I will do it over and over and over again 
over again wow and then um again you know another thing as well was that at the beginning of my wilderness season i remember i told god this was 2018 i remember where i was at the time and i said father i will walk through this fire but you have to convince me you have to you have to assure me that i will come out without scars and it wasn't up until i got to the retreat that i realized that indeed god actually took me through this fire without scars you know and scars like even i at some point i had forgotten all the things that i had gone through like i'd forgotten all the pruning i'm not forgotten in the sense that you know i didn't take anything out of it but forgotten like you know the pain was gone you know all the things all this disappointment that i had felt in that season and you know people who saw me were like oh my gosh i'm like you look so good like you look so nice and everything and i was just laughing i was laughing because at that point at that point you know at that retreat i was at the lowest i'd ever been in my life you know and it really reminded me reminded me of the faithfulness of god because it's like i had told god that i would make it through this fire without scars and indeed god took me through the fire without scars so it was such a blessing and it was such a confirmation um and god did so many things in my life i went to ghana without money yes i said it i went to ghana without money that's so irresponsible <laughs> that's so irresponsible but i did go without money and god really just showed up and he showed up and i remember that you know when i was complaining about not having any money before i left when i was complaining about not having any money the one thing i heard god say was i will sort you out and i held on to that and you know i was telling myself that if i get to a cry like if, when i when i have need for money i'll tell them god will sort because if god will sort you out i'll use and pay them clearly <laughs> Anyways, um, I had I think two days before I left, I had miraculously found 50 CDs in my backpack, which I didn't even realize that I still had. But yeah, um, so that just was something that I held I had held on to um, while I was there. But God really like again he showed up and he showed out you know my friends just took it up like i didn't even tell anybody that I, I didn't have any money but people just took it upon themselves to help me you know people were doing stuff for me without me asking like even the few times i had to spend money i was just I had, like i had to beg people to allow me to spend money my friends you know they took me everywhere they bought me stuff like they like i was listen i was going from this person's house to that person's house like like God really showed up and showed us. My trip to Ghana was supposed to be for four days and then it turned to nine days. And I ended up staying there for one month. One full month. And God did the absolute most. And I'm so grateful. Like I can't begin to explain to you guys. And I remember like the week that I was supposed to leave, right? I had I had I didn't feel led like there was this restlessness in my spirit and i just knew that god was trying to say that it wasn't time for me to go yet right um so i remember i said a short prayer on that sunday and i said father if you don't want me to leave here just cut out my plans and literally all my plans came falling to the ground you know um and god provided for me in more ways that i could ever imagine like more ways than i could ever imagine pardon me but it's like my steps were ordered by the lord god is a master planner you know he made he granted me access into spaces that i would typically never be able to step into granted me access to people that i'll typically not in my wildest dreams not have access to you know like i was getting to go to restaurants and eat for free not for free but you know people were paying for that and god was ordering my steps and leading me to people that he wanted me to pray with people that he wanted me to speak a word over it was so many encounters that i didn't even realize that like like god is very mindful of his children because it's like why would god make pamela stay back in ghana just because he wants her to speak a word you know to somebody and that is what you get when you live a yielded life when you live a life of submission because even to me like it still shocks me every time how god is very intentional about like tiny details like how one act of obedience can be the answer to somebody's prayer for five from for five years ago or from five years ago rather or how one act of obedience can bring liberation to somebody or like listen i can't explain to you guys how god really just showed up and showed out and god used me in great and mighty ways and god like god is just so consistent consistent in showing up every single day i had no plans but i ended up doing one thing or the other if i wasn't going to a wedding i was going you know to speak i, I even ended up going for like a, a picnic birthday thing someone had invited me for like um, the birthday picnic and they said that they wanted me to come and speak um at their birthday and speak to people you know that's another story for another day an entire testimony and i, I got there and it was so powerful we ended up praying we broke bread we fellowshiped it was there for like four hours and then we went listen it was way too many activities uh, 
there is no amount of planning that I, thought I would have planned. I would have. I met so many new people. Like you would think that that was my first time going to Ghana because it was a whole different experience, you know. And it wasn't up until I came back that I was going through my Twitter and I realized that I was tweet. I had tweeted last year in 2021 rather, and I said, you know, God, I'd like to go to Ghana for just one year. Sorry, for just one month to breathe. And I I mentioned God on Twitter. It was so random, but. It was a series of like tweets almost at the same time and I had quoted all of them when I realized that I'll post a screenshot here but it's like God was very intentional about even first of all I, I ended up going to Ghana number two I ended up staying there for a month that I didn't plan to be there for and everything was so beautiful you know I listen I just <sighs> I've this video is 21 minutes long already okay if I shared everything that had happened all through like day to day to day like every single detail we will sleep here this video will probably be like two hours long um but i just want to thank god publicly for his faithfulness and i want to encourage you know anyone who's believing god for breakthroughs and believing god for um opportunities and believing god for like the end of a season and beginning of a new season i want you to know that there's a time for everything under the surface of this earth and god has not forgotten you god is with you god will still show up everything that god said he will do he will do you know and god had told me that this is a year of discipline I will not be led by my feelings. So my my feelings will lead me astray. Oh, I don't really feel like God. You know, I don't really feel like God is with me, or I don't really feel like praying, or I don't really. No, no, no. We don't. We are not feeling like anything. This is. We'll do things because we know there's the right thing to do. We will show up for God because we know that that is what He expects of us. We will show up to to be obedient to God because we have we are, we are living a yielded life. You know, and living a yielded life means living a life of surrender at every point in time, regardless of whether or not it is convenient. You know, because when when you when you avail yourself as a vessel it is almost as though like the answers of people's prayers are connected to your obedience whether or not you see it whether or not you understand it like god has shown me time and time again that i don't have to understand it to obey once you know that this is what god is expecting of you or once you know that this is what god is asking you to do just do it like nike just do it <laughs> anyways oh, i'm actually so funny you guys y'all don't realize it um but that's that's by the way <laughs> That's by the way. Um, so I'm so grateful to God for what this year has in store for you and for me. Um, and another thing that God had told me is that 2023 will be a year of explosive breakthroughs. And this is not a word for everyone. This is a word for those who have persevered. This is a word for those who have been waiting. And I remember asking God, like, why explosive breakthroughs? You could have easily said it's a year of miracles or a year of testimonies or whatever. But God made me understand that it's because when there is a breakthrough, there has been pressure applied consistently right and then when it breaks eventually you know there will be a an explosion and then there will be a sound and then there will be an impact right and then people will hear it people will feel it and they will trace it back to jesus do you get what i mean so even people who are not looking at your life prior when eventually you have your explosive breakthroughs in this year they will trace it back to you when they start asking how it happened they will trace it back to jesus and because of you the glory of god will be revealed through you you know so i'm just so thankful for everything that god is doing in my life in this season everything that he's doing in your life in this season as well um i'm so grateful the, for um grateful for the opportunity to serve the opportunity to know god to fellowship with god it's a privilege i don't take it for granted i'm not i'm not deserving of his love or of anything that god has even done for me like he does it not because of my efforts or because i'm the most righteous or the most faithful but because he's just a good good father you know um and i'm excited for this 2023 journey and for all of you as well and i just pray that the lord will will show up for you i pray that the mighty hand of god will, will rest upon your life in this season and you know for, for as many of you who cry i pray the lord will turn your sorrow into joy he will turn your your mourning into dancing in the name of jesus i pray that the lord steps in into your life in this season as the king of kings because when a king steps in his presence is felt his presence is known so i pray that the lord steps in as a king in your life and in your family and his presence is known and he will shift things you know he will rearrange things so that people will know that god is indeed god in your life i pray that in this year god will not be mocked in your life i pray that in this year you reap the fruit of your labor in the name of jesus i declare that there's a season of harvest you are for signs and wonders you are for breakthroughs you are for blessings god will not depart from you god will go ahead of you and make every crooked path straight and you will never be confused you have clarity because the bible says that you know he has not given you the spirit of fear and a sound mind but that of power love and um, the spirit of fear or confusion but that of power love and sound mind and you hear words from behind saying this is the way walk in it so because of that you have clarity because 
because you have the spirit of god on the inside of you and because god is wisdom you have wisdom at every point in time you excel in the name of jesus you walk into blessings prepared blessings in the name of jesus god will make your your helpers restless until they answer in the name of jesus and lord i just thank you you know for for um for everything that you do with this video lord jesus i thank you for everything that you do with my life god thank you god for the ability to stay yielded at every point in time and even for those who are restless and you know who are anxious about um surrendering oh lord jesus father god i pray that you bring them to that place of understanding that is a beautiful place to be you know living a yielded life is a beautiful thing because it is a, it is it is a life of fulfillment father i pray that they stop running god and they just answer you know to everything that you are doing in their lives father and i pray that even as they do god all glory will return to you father and they will not be put to shame because they put their trust in you father have your way and let your will be done all this i ask in thanksgiving in just in my prayer amen <sighs> so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and until you see my beautiful face next time don't forget that jesus loves you bye